Brothers and sisters, what a fantastic march here in Manchester today. I wonder why the Tories bother coming to Manchester. I thought it was part of the desolate north that was only good for fracking. So they should stay away from Manchester. Just down the road that you marched past is a memorial to Peterloo, where working people from the northwest gathered to fight for the right to vote and they were cut down. And the Tories at that side stood on the other side of the barricades to us and they do so today. We've had to get everything we fought for by fighting, by standing up and organising. The people then knew that nothing is handed out to us by those on high. You have to organise and organise and fight for it and you might win something. That's the traditions here in the North West. I grew up in Manchester at a time when our factories were being closed under the Thatcher government. And I remember people didn't just sit back, we organised and fought back at Gardner's and Lawrence Scott's where people occupied their factories to fight back and fight to protect their industry and protect their jobs. And it's precisely that sort of determination we need to build today to defend our NHS and to defend all our public services. This week, this week, and it's a very sad week for the fire service because nobody in the fire service or any frontline emergency public service wants to be on strike. But this week, firefighters all over the country walked out on strike to defend their pensions. And I'm very proud of them for doing so. And I hope the government will now sit up, take notice and come back and negotiate because I'll say this, if we need to, we will do it again. I can't say in our fight or any fight that you will win. What I can say is if you don't fight, you're guaranteed to lose. And if I can quote another northerner, reinvented himself as a Scotsman, Ewan McCall, said very clearly, if you don't fight, they will rob you blind. That's the truth then. That's the truth at the time of Peter Lowe, and that's the truth today. If you don't fight, they will rob you blind. And I say to this, this demonstration here today is just a sign, a small sign of the power that is in our hands because we're the people who do things in this country and around the world. We're the people who make things happen and equally we can make things stop happening as well. So they better bloody well realise that because otherwise we're going to take them on and we will fight them every step of the way to get rid of this lot, to defend our jobs, to defend our services and to defend our living standards now and in the future. Stand up, organise and fight back. Thanks a lot.